My name's Staff Sergeant Viv Gritton. I'm a member of 167 Catering Support Regiment. I've been part of the Army for 31 years. 24 of them are full colour service and then the rest of the time part of uh, the reserves. Um, what do I love? Generally, uh, the camaraderie, the friendship, the teamwork, the general ethos of the Army, it's uh, the loyalty, um, in the integrity of it, it's a case of, uh, I know my friends and colleagues have got the back and it's not just, it's not just the, I don't just call them colleagues, some of them are actually friends and I've known them, some of them for like 29, 30 years. Like, uh, it's almost like my second family. It's, it's just a really good place to, to be around. I support my mental health by, in my private life, usually going, taking long walks with the dog, uh, putting some hiking boots on and everything, taking some long treks and everything, and just generally getting out and fresh air. Once I'm in camp, it's different matter, because obviously I can be enclosed in an area, but again, walk around the perimeter, I've got the gym to use, uh, we can go and do circuits. There's often classes, fitness classes and things on. If it's actual things that I can't sort of work out my aggression or anxiety or anything, then I've got people to talk to. One of them being the, the welfare officer. Uh, is they've, uh, their door's always open or we've got their phone number's on the wall. It's always someone around to chat to and talk to. On operational tours, you get to know each other, you get to know each other's mood swings and everything else. Um, so, yeah, it's depending on where I am and what I'm doing. I, I swim every morning as well. I also like to um, bake a lot. And I say it's good. I find bread is a very good way of getting out, like, sort of frustration and everything else. Some of my best produce have been when I've, out, when I've sort of needed to work needed to work the tension out you need to talk to people we all need to talk to people and, and not just be wor worry about it the worry it builds up it goes into anxiety and tension and everything else and then you're heading for a, an even bigger meltdown so before that happens you need to just generally like I said open up talk to people there are factors there use the use the, the number on the wall for the welfare officer you don't you don't have to give your name but it's if anything you get a free cup of tea and some biscuits out of him so it's good yeah. The advice I give to someone that's thinking of joining the army or just starting out is every opportunity that comes your way or is thrown at you, grab it with both hands. It's, there's so much, it's not just about the training and the green kit and this adventure training, this take qualifications, further education, yeah, just like open your eyes, improve yourself. It's, there's so much there. I personally have done like, uh, parachute jumping, I've done uh, scuba diving, just go for it, do a full career and everything else because there is nothing out in Civvy Street. It's like I said, you've got a second family within here.